Uh, just tell me who you are, what you do, and everything you just said downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ali Husseini, and I'm a visual artist and a philosopher, also a erstwhile media executive who's launched a bunch of TV channels. Um, I think about what went wrong and what went right with my education, and I think what went right was the fact that I learned to think critically, and I learned the history of things, and I learned scientific method. What went wrong is the fact that things were put into silos, and I didn't learn a lot of the holistic skills that are needed to execute projects and communicate with other people in the business world, or you know, for that matter, in next generation academia or art projects. So what I'd like to see in the future, or even help develop, is an approach to learning that is more collaborative and more reflective of the real world problem solving that goes on in today's business environment. But again, you know, it's not just business, it, it could be art, it could even be academia. Academic institutions are under a lot of pressure and they, of all places, need fresh thinking. So uh, we need to stop putting knowledge into silos. We need to stop putting skill sets into silos and let people become generalists and then specialize on the fly as they actually enter the profession. Uh, the, the disciplinary training that's happening in business schools and uh, other pre-professional schools I've found through direct experience. Um, I've worked at very large companies as an executive. Do not prepare people to think creatively for the problems ahead, particularly the competitive pressures that are coming on from uh, emerging economies or not so emerging economies now. The one thing I think uh, Western academies can offer people uh, that is unique is the ability to think creatively and to think you know there's a lot of talk about out of the box so to say think out of the box you know to think out of the box you have to start out of the box and we're not letting people leave it right now in the current educational institutions so um, there's a place called learning lab that I've been observing here in Amsterdam and I think they take a very good approach to it which is to set up a, a collaborative almost Montessori type learning environment but also to offer uh, guidance and skills acquisition under a project-based paradigm um, which gives you an output that is some, somewhere between that of being an artist and a business manager. You know, the good thing about these looser environments are people learn uh, self-management skills and they have an internal discipline because they have to provide the means to finishing the project and defining, you know, defining their own success. So uh, you, you end up with a student who is far more mature and far more prepared uh, to encounter and uh, actively contribute to the society that they end up in just a few years <laughs> after they start school.